Welcome back. It's Fantastic Friday. in review. I'm your host, Jonathan Frederick. Today's episode is sponsored by 2018's Blood, Sweat, and Tears for the Heart Healthy Hustle to Come True. Man, 2019 already? Uh, It's still settling in. I look at the new year as a way to reset if necessary. Otherwise, keep plowing forward. It's just another day. We wake up, we go. Biggest wins Big things that happened this year. I learned to commit to things. I learned that by choosing something, whether that be a where to live, a relationship, a job, whatever you choose, by choosing that thing, you give it the opportunity to then become the best option that you could have chosen. But if you refuse to fully commit, fully choose uh, options in all areas of your life, I believe, then it doesn't even let you experience uh, you know, a fullness of any of the options. So let's say you have fear of a lack of options. If I have a fear of lack of options and I allow that to keep me from making a decision, then I don't ever experience a benefit from if I had made a decision on one or the other. I'm excited for this year. I believe this year is going to be incredible for the podcast, for all of us on this journey. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of your support the first year. It's only been since June that it launched, June 8th, I believe. So we have really just gotten started, just gotten started, just learning how to interview better, just learning how to edit better what people actually want, learning how to be patient and also work hard with an impatient drive with the understanding that getting to do work takes work and it takes time. So if the, getting to do the work you want to do, to get to the people who perhaps are very difficult to reach just due to their notoriety, their level of economic success, whatever the case may be, this, that, and the third, this has been a bit of groundwork. And I say a bit because it really only has just been a bit. And I'm totally, totally, and if I sound calm, I am because I'm poised and ready for the new year. I just, for this year to be fantastic. This has always been in the plan because I'm excited for the fact that, and this is why I believe people are joining on to the Hard Healthy Hustle community is because they understand that it is consistent. It's not going anywhere. We haven't missed one single episode of one single week since June. Will not. That's been something that I'm committed to. I actually shared with one of my friends. They they asked me, do you, what, do you never sleep? Are you working all the time? You every, every time I open my phone, it looks like there's a new episode ready and up for me. The way I look at it is this, even if something goes wrong in my week or month, whatever, and I cannot take the adequate amount of time, and this is all hypothetical, right? (laughs) Even if I can't take the amount of time I feel necessary for really putting out an episode that just really tugs at the heartstrings and is edited very nice and works well, I will post an episode. That consistency is one thing I will not waver on. I won't. 2019, I plan to continue that legacy of the Heart Healthy Hustle, and I will for you, the listener. And when people see that something is consistent and is not stopping, and that all the people behind it truly believe in what they're building, they're interested to jump on board because they see, oh, okay, this isn't going anywhere. This is just getting started. I can get a, I can get on board with this. This is neat. This is really cool. Let's see where this goes. So I do believe 2019 is going to be a year of winning a lot of people over. And let me explain what I mean by that. Whether that be your friends, my friends, people in my outer circles, people I'm acquainted with who know me at least a little bit or maybe very well and have yet to experience one single episode of the show for yeah, let's just say lack of need, lack of interest. They don't really listen to podcasts. They just don't really care. Everyone has their own life. I believe that this will be the year that most of those people will listen to at least one episode. Whether they like it or not isn't the point, but I believe that that will happen due to the continuing growth in momentum 
of the movement of the podcast itself and of the guest caliber, etc. I think people will continue to be, man, this kid is relentless. He will not stop. There are more episodes every week and the guests are incredible. Holy moly, he interviewed this guy. He interviewed this doctor. He interviewed her. What in the... So people are going to be blown away. And that's what I want to do to attract new people to the community, to the show. I believe that that is a benefit to hosting a consistent show. Before we hit that stratospheric growth, that soaring, that stage of, wow, I think that will start to happen toward the end of 2019 where a lot more people are aware of the Heart Healthy Hustle, what it means, what we're doing. What I want to do is express to you my deepest appreciation for riding with me from the start, for supporting the show, just for being a part of it because without you, there is no Heart Healthy Hustle podcast. It really is you, the listener, and I appreciate you so very much because it's hard, you know. It's difficult, arduous, and challenging to start something from nothing. But when you have a deep conviction about it being something that you believe in and that you know will benefit other people's lives, I, I, I see it as a duty. I see it as non-optional, and I am joyful in the process. I am enjoying the process, and I hope that you are too. That being said, 2018, wow, huge growth big year, January. Cryptos hit an all-time high. Everyone had Bitcoin. Remember that? January 2018. End of January, everyone was depressed if they were in crypto. February, I don't remember. March was starting to edit some episodes for the podcast toward the end of March. April, podcast. May, podcast, prep. June, launch week, very little sleep dyshydrosis of my hands from the stress. July, podcast takes off, good amount of downloads the first month. July, August, September, all podcast, podcast interviews, podcast editing, learning systems, implementing, learning new routines on how I'm going to do it, when I'm going to batch things, way I'm going to do it, my work processes, workflow, etc. September, I also went to a conference in Ohio that was big. I met a bunch of cool people. Uh, shout out to Ryan, Mikey B, Mike Fenner from Jersey, um, Steve Weatherford, ET to Hip Hop Preacher, Dr. Mark Hyman, Jarrett, Brock, Lindsay, Mr. Jason Wilson. I met many like-minded entrepreneurs at this conference and it was a lot of fun. October, fall, autumn sets in, November, holidays, December, holidays, We're into 2019. You see how fast that goes? So fast. I mean, so, so fast. And you have to understand as well, I want to encourage you in 2019, if you have an idea for a side hustle, if you're somebody who has a business, if you're somebody, keep going if you have a business, if you're getting into something or if you want to start writing for a publication, if you want to write a book, if you want to start a podcast, if you want to launch a business, keep listening to the show. What you can expect for 2019 with the Heart Healthy Hustle podcast. More tactical interviews, more conversational interviews, more fun, more of my personality definitely coming out on the show, more of my laugh, the really loud one, bigger name guests, smaller name guests. I really enjoy having unknown guests on a lot of, they are powerful micro influencers in their corner of the world, if you will, and that is actually very conducive, one, for the podcast growth, and two, uh, many very gifted people who are instrumental in shaping the outcomes of many people's lives quietly do so quietly and they don't really like notoriety. But if I can get a relationship built with them, I can, hey, you know, this will really benefit some people if you come onto the show. Usually people will agree. And a lot of times these are very interesting individuals and they have a great story. So I look forward to sharing those with you as well. I have been taking courses online through a site called Creative Live. I met the founder of Creative Live at that conference I aforementioned. Creative Live, we all got a $300 value pass for Creative Live. If you ever heard of online courses, if you ever heard of like Udemy, which is spelled U-D-E-M-Y.com, this is similar to Udemy. It's, It's a video course online, except it's way high caliber. The people teaching the courses are actually people of extreme, like for podcasting, they have an interview with Tim Ferriss, Uh, Lewis Howes, who has one of the top 100 podcasts, has a podcast course on Creative Live. I've been taking, oh, Jordan Harbinger. He's been in podcasting over 12 years. He was on the uh, part of The Art of Charm, and uh, now he has the Jordan Harbinger Show. Very talented individuals, wonderful people who have amazing podcasts, and I have been taking courses online from these people. 
I want to share with you guys something I wrote down back in October of 2018. This was a course, I believe, called Profitable Podcast with Lewis Howes on Creative Live. He doesn't go into monetization much, but he really does go into the mindset of, are you willing to go at this for three plus years with no return, no ROI per se, especially monetarily, no notoriety, nothing? Are you willing to do this for three plus years? That's one of his main questions, and that is a powerful question. I 100% without a shadow of a doubt am a yes to that. I love this. I have been gaining so much momentum in my personal life, in my business life. Everything has been benefited from my podcast. I'm not saying there aren't areas that I could improve on because there are. However, I am saying that I have no interest in slowing down or stopping anytime soon. Never did. I wouldn't have started it if I did. That's why I've been consistent every single week. Here's what I wrote down. I'll just share with you guys some some more quiet insights into me, Jonathan, as a person. I think this will be really interesting, so listen to this. Being a little bit more transparent with you guys this year. So why? Why do I want a podcast? Honestly, I will be honest with you guys. This past year, the reason why deep down for podcasting has been to scratch my own itch in the areas of needing entre- uh, mentor- entrepreneurial mentors, needing entrepreneurial mentors who are out there actually doing it. That's my first reason. Learn from mentors. Next reason was personal development, growth, fight lies of loneliness, connect winners to each other, So that would be you, the listener with the guest. That would be you, the listeners with each other. Expand my network. Create curiosity around my faith. We will start implementing some sponsorships and some other monetization avenues as well. I want to start implementing my business into this podcast, so you'll hear some stuff about that too. My vision for the Heart Healthy Hustle, to personally use it to grow and to allow others to grow with me to give the gift of love and connection to lonely entrepreneurs and proactive young pros who are committed to their vision. When you're committed to something you're doing, to to the vision for your life, to your goals, to get to that vision, it can, and almost without a shadow of a doubt, will become lonely, at least sometimes. So I want this podcast to be something you can turn on and say, I feel understood. I feel like I'm validated. I feel like Jonathan gets me, the guests get where I'm at in my life. This is encouraging. And oh, look, there's a bunch of tactical things to implement and start positively affecting and changing my life for the better right away. So that's what I want. So again, to give the gift of love and connection to lonely entrepreneurs and proactive young pros who are committed to their vision, to create opportunity for myself and those around me, including listeners, to impact the world, to learn how to win and still hold on to my values. And this is probably one of the biggest things, guys, to learn how to win at a big level and still hold on to my values. How many people do I want to impact? Again, we hear it in the outro every time now. I aim to reach 6,000 people a month by August 2019. I also aim to impact 100 million people by 2020. I haven't shared that with you guys yet. Um, That can be uh, aggregate total listens. I aim to reach 15,000 people per month by March 2020. In a couple months from the day you listen to this interview, that's one year. We can do it. How long are you committed to doing your podcast for, Jonathan? Four years of true effort. Four years of true effort. And these are integral to my operating system and my approach to this podcast and to entrepreneurship. But understand that this page I'm reading off of was for me, not necessarily ever expecting to share it with anyone. I actually wasn't. So this is essentially a vision board. How much money per year do you want to make with podcasting? I put here $10 million per year by December, 2020, $100 million by 2022. And that's all before even getting started on building a podcast, building a business, anything. So again, if you guys are wondering, what do you do for a living? Again, I have a media marketing company. I do primarily videography with that. And I'm freeing up resources in certain areas by living frugally so that I can focus them in on living abundantly in other areas. And that is a life, essentially a life hack. So some ambitious goals with the podcast, guys. And if you're thinking, oh, that's so greedy, it's really not. Uh, For the amount of blood, sweat, and tears that I've put into this podcast um, up till now, it's nothing compared to what it will be, I know, and in terms of how much work I have ahead of me. What I want you to do next 
If you use Instagram or Facebook, take a screenshot right now of your phone if you're driving, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, if you're at a stop, go ahead and take a quick screenshot, open up your phone, unlock the screen, screenshot the podcast window being open on your phone, upload it on your Instagram story, tag me, it's at Heart Healthy Hustle, and just say, hey, Jonathan, thanks for over 60 episodes in 2018, something to generate interest from your, from your friends and family on your social media platforms. The first three people to do this will receive a free coaching, will receive a free 15-minute strategy set. All right, so let's kick off 2019 with a giveaway. The first three people to comment on the latest interview episode on the hearthealthyhustle.com website, there's a Facebook comment box at the bottom. The first three people, you'll get a 10-minute strategy session to set up your 2019 right so you can achieve your goals. So again, the clear instructions for that, go ahead to the hearthealthyhustle.com. You can do it right from your phone. Go to the podcast tab on the top and click on the latest interview and it'll be a picture. So go ahead and do that and we'll get you all set up. And guys, 2019 is here. So let's get it. Hope you have an awesome Saturday and Sunday. Godspeed. Fearless.